Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Nama saya Nur Adli Minti Yusri from the Mimi A And my partner name is Nurul Adi Atirah Binti Wan Zainuddin Okay, today I want to present about case study 1 DJM 4092 Control System Okay, first Okay, okay Control System A control system is defined as a system of device that manage, command, direct or regulate the behavior of other device or system to achieve a desired result a control system achieve this through control loop, which a process designed to maintain a process variable at the desired state point. Okay, first, question first. Define type of control system, electrical, pneumatic, and hydraulic. Okay, first, hydraulic. A hydraulic system controls the transmissions of energy. It transforms the mechanical energy of a prime motor into fluid energy. It controls the fluid configurations and transforms the fluid energy into mechanical work at specific location. Hydraulic system face a high power density sensitive response and expressions of control, especially when operating under computer control. Thus, they have been widely used as an energy transmission control system in aircraft, ship constructions, machinery, uh, machine tool, and other. Okay, number two, pneumatic. Pneumatic control system use compressed air to resolve and send the signal that control HVAC equipment. And there are reason pneumatic control have been around for decades. They are the venerable workhorse of the HVAC work. At KMC Control, we have been manufacturing pneumatic control products since 1999 and our polonium is still going strong. Okay, number three is electrical. An electrical control system is a physical interconnection of device and influence the behavior of other device or system. A system electronic system is made up of an input, a process and output. Both input and output variable to the system and signal. Examples of such system include circulation, pump, compress, manufacturing system, refrigeration plant and motor control panel. Okay, question number two. List all the elements in control system. Okay, we have three elements of control system. Okay, first, feedback. Feedback is the backbone of all control system. This feedback is nothing but the information that manage use to correct their organizations actually perform. The aim of feedback is basically to adjust future actions using previous experience. Manage use the information they reserve from feedback to implement corrective measure. Such measures generally help in predict the gap between the actual perform of the organizations and goal. Okay, elements number two is control must be objective. The second essential requirement of a good control system is that it must always be objective. A subjective criterion should never be basic of evaluations actual performance. For example, the evaluations of an employer, employer performance should comprise of standard like working hour, productivity, efficiency, efficiency. Okay, number three is control should be forward looking. Control system can often suffer from the defect of delay in reporting of deviations and taking of corrective measure. As we saw above, this problem can lead to finance, financial loss for a business. Okay, hence, a manage must ensure that their control system are forward looking. This will help in predicting revision in advance as well as given in the required time of uh, forecast correction. Okay, thank you. I will pass to Ali Adira. Okay, so I want to continue the case study, the question of number 3. Choose one application that uses the control system for electrical, pneumatics and hydraulics. The first one is uh, about the hydraulics. Industrial. In electrical hydraulics is the mechanism used for controlling the industrial application of hydraulics. Precise and fast response is an advantage of this. Plastic processing machinery, steel making, and primary metal extraction application are some of the example of industrial hydraulics. The second one is about the pneumatic automobile. Automobile industry use pneumatic system for dismantling vehicle tire, filling compressed air in the tire, vehicle painting, opening and closing of doors, air brakes on heavy vehicles. The third one is uh, about the electrical remote control. The regulating unit is connected to an actuating device mounted some distance away by means of power transmission through electrical linkage. For example, a remote control to turn on an air conditioning unit. Ok, 
Okay, so the question number four is uh, explain about the example application of control system limited and the elements needed in the industry. Okay, the answer is a uh, supervisory control and data equation SCADA. SCADA is not a system that can provide full control. Instead, its capabilities are focused on providing control at the supervisory level. SCADA system are composed of device generally programmable logic controllers, PLC, or other commercial hardware modules that are distributed in various locations. SCADA system can acquire and transmit data and are integrated with a human machine interface HM HMI that provides controllers monitoring and control for numerous process inputs and outputs. The primary purpose of using SCADA is for long distance monitoring and control of police sites through a controlless control system in lieu of workers having to travel long distance. The distance to perform tasks or gather the data, data, the SCADA system is able to automate this task. Field device control local operations such as uh, opening or closing of box and breakers, collecting data from the sensor system and monitoring the local environment for alarm condition. SCADA systems are commonly used in industry involving pipe lead, monitoring and control water treatment, centers and distribution, and electrical power transmission and distribution. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.